In this video, I'd like to demonstrate a modified Stirling engine, which is used as a power generator in order to power an iPod. This engine has been designed as a generator. It will run continuously as it's water cooled. This specific engine has done hundreds of hours. It uses a small DC generator and extensive cooling and a water cooling jacket. Let's turn the propane on. Allow a couple of seconds for the engine to gain some heat. should start. Great, it's away. This engine's running with propane. We can see the propane flame. It uses a water cooling jacket, which is in contact with the displacer sleeve, as well as the cool plate. The water is circulated by a small water pump goes through a radiator, which is cooled by a fan which is attached to the shaft. You then have a water jacket. You can see the pump circulating water. The engine is very quiet. Propane at low pressure. You can just about hear it. see our LED pilot lights indicating charge coming through. We'll add a bit more propane just to get the revs up. Right, let's plug in our iPod. Charge. Yeah, it's charging. Slow the engine down. You can see it stopped charging. Speed the engine up and see it start charting. Slow it down. You can see the charge stop. Speed it up and start charging. Slow the engine down. You'll see the charge stops. Speed it up. Pilot light brightens and starts charging. These engines are produced in Great Britain by Warp 5 fans. They are commercially available in an unmodified form from warp5fans.com. If we turn the propane off, the engine would start slowing, 
charge will decrease. You can hear how quiet the engine is. Pilot light is still visible, which indicates it's still powering. But it's slowly getting dimmer. The engine slowing down. If we look at the LED, there's almost no charge. Thank you for watching.